to another episode of the Varel Vida, and this time we will be looking at another locomotive legend. Now if you do not know already, I have a very collectible collection of models like uh, these models, along with booklets about them. These were by Atlas Editions uh, quite a few years back, and I am using these trains to let teach you a little bit about them and also show you these lovely collect collectible items. So today I will be talking to you about the LMS Duchess Class. So let's get started. With these brilliant Duchess Class Pacifics, the English art of steam trains reached its summit at the end of the 30s. Created by the well-known designer William Stanier, thoroughbreds with their blood red livery accentuated by black and yellow linings these machines easily beat power and speed records, leaving behind them, by their hunger for coal, even those who stoked the over overwhelmed boilers. The Scotland in the midst of the fiercest competition. The two competing companies on the London to Scotland route, the London Midland and Scottish Railway on one side, and on the other side, the London and North Eastern Railway, ra waged a merciless battle. These two major companies were the result of the 1923 Grouping Act of all the British railway companies into the Big Four. The Midland Railway and the London North Western combined to make the London Midland Scottish Railway, and its main line served the centre of England and Scotland via the West Coast, arriving in Scotland at Glasgow, but also with an indirect link to Edinburgh. Born at the same time, the L and the R was the result of the grouping of several companies in the east of England. This including principally the North Eastern Railway and naturally it entered Scotland by following the east coast and arrived directly at Edinburgh. With the Duchess, the London, Midland and Scottish Railway introduced a lethal weapon. In 1937, this company decided to launch London to Glasgow Express train service and asked the Stania to develop the most powerful and fastest Pacific possible. This was the Duchess type. The first engine was named Duchess Anne and was rapidly followed by 38 others produced from 1939 onwards. In February 1939, the Duchess of Abercorn was tested with a train of 20 carriages weighing 605 tonnes on a round trip between Clue, Crewe and Glasgow. A force of over 3,300 horsepower was developed and Vitok Bank was climbed at 63 miles per hour. Another record that was beaten a bit later on was the arrival in crew at the head of a train at 114 miles per hour, which indicated that the train had took points at over 60 miles per hour, that it had been intended for speeds that were only a third of this. Only the track and the restaurant crockery suffered during the exploit, and the journalists who travelled on board were enchanted. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Rail Vida. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please do stay tuned for tomorrow's Rail Vida, which will be where I will cover the last of the main part of my Locomotive Legends collection by Atlas Editions. And also, please do subscribe so that it's easier for you to get to my videos, if you do enjoy them. So, until tomorrow, thanks a lot for watching, and bye!